The next activity is a dictation activity with a twist. It's a great one to get the students concentrating and really helps them to focus on a particular language point. The model sentences from the Gateway Grammar Guides are ideal to use. We're going to do an activity now which is like a dictation, okay, but it's a little bit different. I am going to dictate one long sentence to you, but it's important, when I dictate the sentence, you cannot write anything. When I finish, you have to try and remember what I said. It might be difficult, but don't worry because we'll do it more than once. Okay, so let's see how much you remember. You ready? Although I've already been to the United States twice, I haven't visited Hollywood yet, despite the fact that I'm mad about films. Go. See what you can remember. It's a good idea to try to reduce the panic factor, which is one of the major difficulties that students have when they do listening exercises. Right, um, we're going to do the same thing again. So pen down, I'll repeat the sentence, and again, look at your sentence. Can you make it better? Okay, or is it perfect already? Ready? Although I've already been um, to the United I States... I would like a volunteer. The volunteer is, has an easy job because the volunteer doesn't have to think much. They just write. Who wants to be the volunteer? Irene, do you want to come? And you, So you don't need your piece of paper because what is going to happen now is you, as a class, you are going to dictate to Irene and she will write whatever you say. If you think um, Irene has made a mistake or something, you can tell her. Okay, um, who would like to help, who would like to begin dictating to it, any? Daniel? Uh, also, I have been twice. No? Uh, you have to write already uh, between, have and, between been. have and been. Here? Yes. The sentence I'm using here was chosen so that students would focus on yet and already with the present perfect and also the linker despite. And you'll notice how well the task makes them focus on this language. It says, but I haven't visited. What do you think? This is a democratic decision. I think no. there's only a comma. But is for a contrast, isn't it? One of the nice features of this activity is that the whole class work together and help each other to come up with the final answer. We'll check at the end, but maybe if you have although and but, it's two, the two words are similar. Um, are we happy? We're happy with this sentence? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's have a look. Thank you, Irene. Right, um, despite now, this is to introduce a contrast. And in fact, the expression that I said is despite the fact. Actually, here, so I would suggest dictating out, the sentence one last time the and let the class check the really final answer that okay. way. So there is a contrast there. We followed this activity by examining the difference in use between already and yet with the present perfect. Because the students have been memorising the sentence and concentrating hard on it, they really focused on the grammar and structure of the sentence and on spelling. One of the reasons I like this activity so much is that it provides us with language work, listening, writing and speaking all in the one task. Don't forget to check out the Gateway Facebook page where there are weekly teaching tips to help you with your lessons and also access to Gateway worksheets.